Hey everyone, welcome back to Inspiro. Today I'm going to be talking all about my piercings, answering your most asked questions, and giving you an overview of my entire piercing journey with my 10 ear piercings. I love a good curated ear of minimal and dainty piercings because it's my way of accessorizing my wardrobe daily. I don't really change up my jewelry. I wear the same rings every day, same like easy piercings every day, and uh, I think it just like subtly accessorizes your outfits, but in a really like classic way. It's been a while since I've done a piercing video, so I'm really excited about it. Let's get into it. First piercing I want to talk about is my anti-tragus. It's doing pretty well. It is not fully healed yet, and it's been, what, two years? Out of my 10 piercings, it is the most painful one. So if I were to rate them all out of 10, I'd say this is an 8 out of 10. I have a pretty high pain tolerance too. So even when I got like my tattoos and stuff, they weren't that painful, um, which means that 8 out of 10 is pretty a pretty big deal. It was my longest piercing, meaning they pierced one side and then had to adjust and pierce the other way because it is on an angle. Watch the vlog if you want to see that whole thing. And I was like really lightheaded after that piercing too. So I changed it into this gold hoop a little over a year after I got it, thinking it was healed enough. I should have probably waited longer with like a curved barbell in it though, um, but I was just really impatient. And it's going to take, I think, longer to fully heal now that I have this in, but. Um, I love the look and I really didn't want like a <laughs> curved barbell in it. Next on this ear is my tragus piercing, which is this tiny one in here. I'd say it's like pretty soft cartilage there, so I don't even remember the piercing, uh, so I don't think it was painful. I would say what, like a 4 out of 10? On my tragus, I have a small uh, Bivale diamond topper on a titanium stud. It's healed, it's doing great. I think it was like really easy to heal. Uh, a lot of you asked me if I'm able to wear like earphones in these ears and I was fine when I had that. I honestly don't wear like headphones in this ear right now because of my anti-tragus. It's like when I wear like an AirPod or something, it puts pressure on my anti-tragus, which makes it act up. So I usually just wear headphones in one ear. But yeah, I think when you have a hoop in your anti-tragus though, it gets in the way. So that's something to note. Next on this ear, I have my cartilage or like a helix piercing. Pretty standard, everyone has these. They're just on the outside of your ear. And I have this dainty gold ring in it. So if you watched my last piercing video, I basically swapped out a ton of my jewelry and I ordered these small gold hoops off of Etsy. I'll leave them linked below. Very affordable for gold filled hoops. They do have a like slightly hammered texture though, but considering that they are gold fill and I haven't gotten any allergic reactions from them, I highly recommend they're what, like 20 to $30 per hoop. So if you don't wanna do like the Bivale seamless gold ring, highly suggest these. There are certain piercings though that I recommend doing like a seamless ring in though. For example, like my anti-tragus, I would not try to stick this like cheap Etsy ring in it because I think it won't heal as well. All of my Helix piercings weren't really that painful. I would give them like a five out of 10 because it is like a thicker cartilage here. But yeah, pretty standard. That one is also healed. I did get it a while ago though. Other than that, on this ear, I just have my first and second lobes pierced. So it's pretty standard. Low piercings are like a two out of 10. They're not that painful because it's just soft tissue. Um, and in my first lobe, I just have, again, um a gold ring off of etsy this little face earring i just like hoop it on and these are handmade from gold i picked them up from artisanal design co which is this local black owned thrift shop and then in the second lobe on my left ear um i'm wearing this gold like bar earring from blue boho when i was in toronto i used to love blue boho it's one of my go-to spots for like gold jewelry or really nice like piercing jewelry. It is just more expensive though. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for really nice like earrings and different designs, I highly recommend checking them out, especially if you're Canadian based, so you don't have to pay for duties and exchange rates and shipping and all of that. There are so many cool like LA based jewelry shops. I'll leave linked below for all of you American followers, but I haven't ordered yet because of those reasons. <laughs> Onto my right ear. Um, this ear I think is fully healed everywhere so um i actually got my first two piercings on this ear my conch and rook at the same time i'd say when you're getting a lot of piercings i highly recommend just doing all of them at once if they're not too close together because when they're in the healing stage you can't really sleep on that side so that's why i kind of like just 
tackling multiple piercings at once. I conch, fully healed. I have this bigger hoop in it right now. This is one of the ones I got off of Etsy. Conch, uh, I'd say was my second most painful piercing because it is super thick cartilage here. Um, so I would give it about a six and a half, seven out of 10. Also because it was my first piercing. So I just remember it being a shock because I heard the cartilage like snap and everything. But again, it's just for like a quick second. In my rook, I have another like super small gold seamless ring. This one's off of BBLA. Uh, it's just because I didn't really know what size I wanted to get. I'm pretty sure this is a custom size. I'd say these two took me also about a year and a bit to heal because I got them pierced with surgical steel. So because I was slightly allergic, they just wouldn't heal properly. <laughs> I also got my conch initially pierced with a hoop, which I do not recommend. It'll take forever to heal. You want to get it pierced with a stud first, and I think that'll drastically decrease your healing time. And then on this ear, I also have a helix piercing. This is one of my uh, most recent piercings. It's currently acting up a little bit because when I filmed my like Dear Fashion Influencers video, I actually put this a uh, diamond hoop in and it is a bit too small to go in there so I think it aggravated it. Similar like pain level and healing to my other cartilage piercing. I just have my like two low piercings on this side too and the second lobe I just have my diamond hoop from Blue Boho um, but I eventually want to wear it in this helix once it like dies down. But yeah, it's basically an overview of my 10 piercings. They've been doing pretty good so far. I'm just uh, watching my anti-tragus because I do want it to heal and do better. In terms of caring for my piercings now, since most of them are almost fully healed, I don't do much. Um, I just do like a daily spritz of this piercing aftercare by Neil Med. Um, it's basically just a saline solution. And I like this one specifically because it has the spout. So it lets you get into all of the angles and it basically sprays out like this. So it's like super pressurized, but it's a really fine mist. So I like to do this um, once a day before going to bed just to like cleanse my piercings, especially when like you're touching your ears during the day and like with masks, the like the mask um, elastics usually go behind your ears. So it's good to just like make sure it's clean like to just like wash them with a, uh, usually I use my face wash because it's like a very gentle cleanser. Um, just to like make sure my ears are washed. Your ears are like your face, so you just want to <laughs> make sure they're clean. But yeah, that's like basically the overview of my piercings. In terms of when I get a fresh piercing, what I do for aftercare is I like to do a sea salt soak and a warm compress every day, maybe twice a day sometimes if it's in a really tricky area. So whenever my anti-tragus even acts up now, I'll do a cup of like pretty warm, kind of hot, warm water, like bearable hot water um, with sea salt in it. And that basically purges all of the pus and everything out um, and it helps it calm down. So whenever your ear is acting up or if it's in the early stages of healing, I like to do that. And then you basically just rinse it with water after. So not like, so the salt isn't all there and like dried up. Yeah, I buy this from my local piercing studio. You can also order this online off of like Amazon or something, but better to support your local piercing studio than Amazon. Amazon, I think so yeah in terms of prices I don't remember the specific prices of each of these piercings and it also just depends on the studio that you go to I would say they also range depending on where the piercing is I would recommend going to a professional piercing studio because it matters when I got my like uh, first piercings done I went to a two-for-one piercing day and it took longer to heal because with good piercing technique, it doesn't damage the tissue as much. And that's why it's so worth going to a professional piercer that knows what they're doing. Good technique means that it'll heal faster and it'll heal better, if that makes sense. At the end of the day, it'll cost you what, like 20 to $30 more, but it's a piercing you're gonna have for your lifetime. So why try to skimp on that? Um, so I hope that that helps, but again, it just depends on the studio that you're going to. So I would reach out to them and ask about what their prices are. In terms of future piercings, I'm like pretty happy with where my earrings are. Sometimes I remember like when I first didn't have any piercings and I dreamed of having like the ears that I have today that I'm so grateful, you know, so proud. So I'm so happy that I have them. I got this helix piercing. I actually wanted a lower helix. I feel like it's too similar to where my like left helix is, 
on my left ear um, and I want it lower so that it complements my conch more. So I might go in and just get it re-pierced a little bit lower and maybe just let this one heal if it's acting up or let it close or whatever. I don't really know yet, but I definitely think it's higher than what I wanted. So might get another one pierced under it. And then I also just wanna get a third lobe on this side. I think that'll be really nice in terms of like where my piercings are on this ear. On my left ear, I'm also pretty happy with it. There isn't really anything I wanna get right now. I don't really wanna overwhelm my ears with too many piercings too. I think the other reason I don't really wanna get any new piercings is because I still want to find jewelry that I really love for my ears. I switched to these um, like, gold hoops off of Etsy because I didn't want to spend too much money on fine jewelry right now but I definitely think there are cooler ways to accessorize my current piercings so I'm more focused on that than um, adding more piercings to it. Now for the Q&A I asked you to ask me questions on Instagram today so I'm going to rapid fire answer them because otherwise it's going to get into a very long video and I'm sure I've also answered most of your questions in my past videos so Again, please just watch through the playlist to get all the answers that you need or are curious about. Biggest advice for choosing which piercings to get. I think for a nice curated ear, it's good to map out um, what piercings you really love. So I would go on Pinterest and start pinning. I, I usually search minimal ear piercings or a curated ear. And I like to look at other people's combos. I like to find piercings and save them for inspiration. I also like to check out the uh, Maria Tash page, obsessed with like their piercers and their piercing game. I'm pretty sure they coined the idea of a curated ear. Once I kind of know what my favorite piercings are, I like to take photos of my own ears because ear anatomy changes from person to person. So the way a piercing might look for someone else will look different on you. I think at the end of the day, it's more about like, if you love a certain type of piercing, then you should just get it. Like if you like the idea of a date, you should just get it because it'll look like your piercing on you, if that makes sense. But yeah, even on like Insta story, just like take a quick snap of your ear and like draw in some dots and some like lines for hoops of like where you want your piercings to see what it would look like. And that way you can also play around with like different combos and then get them pierced. Where to shop for nice piercing jewelry? Depends on if you want gold jewelry or if you want normal jewelry. Etsy is a great place for those of you who aren't allergic to a lot of metal, so I'll leave some shops linked below that my friends shop a lot at. If you're looking for gold jewelry and fine jewelry, I'll also leave some shops below. I love Blue Boho for a Toronto-based one. I also love Amarillo and Hi Tea Chai, which are both LA based. Um, and then another brand I love is also Wolf Circus. I have some earrings from them. They use recycled brass plated in gold and I don't really get um, allergic reactions to them either, but I only wear them for fashion jewelry. So I'll usually wear them in my lobes and then take them out like at night. Potential new piercings, answer that already. How do you know what piercings suit your ear? Just take photos of your ears and like draw in different placements. You can also go to your local piercing studio and um, you can hold jewelry up so that you can see them in person if you're having a hard time envisioning it or even seeing what it would look like drawn on with like, um, with like a pen or something. So it's no commitment to get pierced, but it's a good way to actually see what it would look like in reality with different jewelry options that they have. What happened to your anti-tragus? Update, anti-tragus is doing pretty okay. Talked about it already. Again, still don't wear like my AirPod headphones in that ear because it puts pressure on the ring. Uh, I probably shouldn't have swapped to a hoop so early on, even though early meant more than a year after I got it pierced, but it's doing pretty good. I still love it. Expenses, piercing, jewelry, in terms of getting pierced, the price ranges depending on what you're getting pierced, what area, from like $55 to like $95, I would say. In terms of jewelry, again, it depends on if you're getting gold jewelry or like where you're buying from. Typically, you can just get pierced with like titanium, uh, titanium studs and barbells and stuff. I'd say that costs what, like $25 to $35 bucks for that jewelry um, and you can get it iodized so it can look slightly like gold or like different colors. What new piercings do you want to get? Answer that already. Heloids, how to get rid of them. I think you just need to be patient with them. I've heard some people crush up aspirin and like dab them on the spot. I honestly just do sea salt soaks, stay off of it, sleep on like a, a airplane pillow or I like to sleep like this too. You just don't want to aggravate it and you're 
your body will do the rest of the healing. Where you got your piercings and pricing. Again, for pricing, ask your local studio. Um, I got my first two piercings done at Perfect Image here in uh, Waterloo. Don't go there. <laughs> Don't go for the two for one day. Go to a good, reputable piercing shop. My other piercings, when I was in Toronto, I went to Exotic Studios, love them. Now I also go to Wonderland Studios and get pierced by Deacon here in Kitchener. He is my local piercing guy, super knowledgeable. Highly recommend those two if you're Toronto or Kitchener based. That's where I go. I love you, I love you too. Uh, where can I buy minimalistic jewelry? Please give us as many links as possible. But to me, minimalistic jewelry means gold hoops. So I will leave the Etsy shop I bought all of these hoops from down below. They're super affordable. I haven't gotten any reactions to them. I think they're called Revel Me Hoops. And then yeah, check out all the other links below too if you want fine jewelry or like other Etsy shops. Are all of your piercings now healed? What do you have your eye on for next piercings? Um, Anti-tragus isn't fully healed and then this like helix is acting up because I tried to put this this hoop in it for a video um, but yeah where do you get your earrings from some of my earrings are BVLA studs and seamless rings that I buy through my studio so I bought them through exotics some of my jewelry is from blue boho which is a Toronto based boutique and then some of my jewelry these like small gold ones are from this Etsy shop that I'll leave linked below rebel me um, and then in terms of like my fashion jewelry which usually are in my lobes I have my recycled brass gold plated hoops from wolf circus I have some hoops from Missouri. These ones are handmade locally in Galt that I picked up from Artisanal Design Co. Next question, how you decided on them, where you got them done, where you got your jewelry, are you planning for more? Um, how I decided on them, I literally just pinned photos on Pinterest and then tried to see if they would look good on my ears um, and then I got them done. Yeah, you made me get my rook. Oh, I love when I've like inspired you to get your piercings. Thank you. How many more piercings are you gonna get? I don't know. I feel like it just depends on my mood. I definitely want, again, that third lobe and then maybe like a lower helix on this side. Any changes since the last update? Will you be getting more? No changes so far. I feel like when I wanted to get more COVID hit and then I wasn't really like wanting to get too close to other people where when you're getting a piercing, they're like pretty close to you, you know what I mean? Not really many changes since my last one. Uh, I basically just swapped out a bunch of my jewelry though. So watch my last video where I basically like changed my earrings for the first time by myself, which was kind of scary and kind of fun at the same time. And last question, do you regret your anti-tragus? No, I do not. I love it. I think it's really unique. And I also think it's framed really well with like my tragus there too. It doesn't really annoy me either when it has like a small bump. I just wish that it fully heals, but I also decided to change it to this hoop uh, before it was fully healed and that's on me. That was me being impatient and an Aries, but I love the look. I highly recommend it if you're thinking about getting it, but just know that it is like a little bit painful, but you know, the pain only lasts for a few seconds. And the other thing is you will probably have a curved barbell in the piercing for a really long time. <laughs> but anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I answered your questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will definitely bring you along if I get more piercings and keep you updated. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer, please drop them in the comments and I will be sure to answer them down there. Um, but please leave a like if you enjoyed and let me know what piercings you have and what your favorite piercings are. I always love hearing and I love you guys so much. Please follow me on Instagram. It's at Inspiro and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Love you. Thank you.